Okay, here we go. Beetlejuice sign dimension video. So this is the back, of course, or maybe that's not of course. Uh, let me do that. Make it my tape measure not working. There we go. Okay. Um, so let's count holes. Uh, what? Um, bottom arrow. Not. Do not include these. Well, let's do the middle. Okay. So this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then same thing over here. Six, and then bottom row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, times that. Same as eleven. Notice these are drilled all the way through, so that's not a problem uh, with that. So that'll be the front. So eleven plus eleven is twenty-two, plus six plus six, so that's twenty-two plus twelve, that's thirty-four. Uh, bulbs that go around here uh, and there we go so uh, we have three different colored bulbs we have yellow orange and red uh, obviously 34 doesn't divide into that but we don't care because that's the point is it will be sporadic uh, okay so bottom arrow 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 14 15 15 on the bottom and then on the top We've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen top, fifteen bottom. That's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight on the arrow. All of these should be the same color. I'm going to use yellow ping pong balls for those. So if you want to use yellow uh, LED, uh, the LED lights, I don't, whatever color they're going to be, but you will probably just do them all white, but. Whatever. So these will all be, they'll be yellow uh, ping pong balls. And then again, the 34 around there. So 34 plus uh, 28 is what you need. So, okay, let me flip it over. Pause video. Oh, wait, one more thing. The um, This will come off so you can get to it from the back. Uh, there's to be a, there's a glued in piece here. There's going to be a glued in piece here. So that'll hold it from flexing and then I'm going to drop a couple screws here uh, so that we can still get into here as needed but uh, there's that so may need to figure out something here on but I'm not too worried about it right now but it may warp over time who knows all right okay flipped over okay so didn't realize I screwed up again <laughs> before I flipped it over so uh, these pieces here this is four inches and there's one inch here and this board is cedar and it is one inch thick as well so in the four inches here you'll have one inch for the for the ping pong balls we're not putting any facing on here so there's ping pong balls one inch and then one inch for the uh, cedar here and then two inches underneath for wires and whatever i do not have any intention currently to put a back on this um, we'll just leak light and whatever don't care from the back but you do have two inches two inches underneath all the way around except when it comes to the arrow the arrow is three inches uh, but the inch is taken off the top so basically the bottom the bottom is flush and then we've got one inch again one inch at the top here or so and then one inch for the uh, about one inch for the wood Actually, it's three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch. Oops. Three quarters of an inch. This is a different kind of wood. This is just pine. That's, well, how thick is this? Yeah, that's one inch. One inch, because it's a deck board. One inch cedar there, but this is three quarter inch pine here. So anyway, so you got an inch. Whoa. You got an inch plus three quarter. So an inch and three quarter. And then that leaves you an inch and a quarter for wiring underneath here okay okay so that should be it what am i missing uh and then we're gonna hang it so we'll probably end up putting a screw or a eye eye bolt somewhere here uh and somewhere here and then we'll be hanging it suspending it from the tree and then we'll probably maybe some guy wires on the bottom somewhere else um these uh, corners are quite sturdy. There's a screw on a 45 here and a screw uh, on a 45 this, but straight here. So there's a screw and a screw on each one of these corners, and then I glued them so they won't fail. And then 
Same thing here. There's a screw here and a screw here. Actually, screw this way. So screw this way and screw this way on each one of these. All I did was cut these off at a 45 and then just flipped, literally cut it off and flipped it and then glued it and, and screwed it. So there's a screw here, screw here. Um, okay, if you want to take this apart, these are square head holes, square head, square head, square head, one, two, three, and then four, five, six. Uh, and then that would lift off the arrow completely if you wanted to repaint it or do something else. Um, uh, this, this is some character marks here, this uh, unfortunate knot placement. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to see what the acrylic looks like, but the acrylic is going to lay on here. So again, four inches here, so four inches for this. But this is going to be up a bit. I'll talk about that in a second here. So this is a half inch here. This is one inch. And then there's a, another half inch gap. And then there's your three quarter inch piece of wood. And then there's gap below that. This piece of wood here is going to be up against this. So it'll be more like up there. So it'll be more like this when you get in there. But, but this allows for me to put LED lights right underneath here pointing out this way don't put them on the underneath because it points down you want the light to project out so put the led lights all the way around here all the way around and then that that's this is about three feet this is about 18 inches 18 inches about three feet so three foot three foot and then another three foot so a nine foot piece of led lights would go around once a 18 uh, inch or 18 feet would go around twice, and most LEDs are 18 or 32 feet, but 18 feet should be plenty for two lights. That means you could put one row down here and then the other row right here, but I'm worried that you're too close or too close to, to the acrylic going across here that we're gonna spray paint the acrylic that's gonna lay on here. But I think if we put one row here, and then we could put a second row down here all the way around. So we'll have two rows pretty low away from that'll be diffused enough so we don't have any hot spots uh, the only thing i'm worried about there obviously is the darkness that would be caused by this so we can mitigate that by either putting some on it which again would might create a hot spot which i don't want to do but really i'm, gonna, I'm leaning on the fact that there's going to be light here that you may have to get fancy with to double up so um, but usually you, you flood this with so much light there's no real problem in here and that's it so oops this is on the other side of that one well, so this won't be under here this will be up here on top of here i just didn't put it up here before the video so um okay and then the light bulbs themselves the holes are about three and a half on center so if you move this to the center it's about three and a half so edge to edge right three and a half three and a half well that was three and three quarter so that one's three and three, three, I'm sorry, not three and three quarter, three and five eighths. So I tried to go three and a half each time. Um, this is, again, let me just show that. So that's about, what, two and three, two and three quarter between those. And again here, two and it should be the same. Come on, get in there. So two and three quarter on that. And so... This board is seven inches wide, right there. Seven inches inside to inside. The uh, this is five millimeter, five millimeter uh, plywood um, there. And so these bulbs are, or the lights, whatever, are uh, four, about four and a, four and what? Four and a quarter. No, that's four and an eighth. Sorry, four and an eighth on center. Four. And that one's about four on center. So there you go. So it's going to vary a little bit, but let's call it four inches on center. Down there, seven inch wide board. Uh, this is three inches wide here, about. And again, those are three and a half on center all the way down. This is a 45. So this, you don't really care about this dimension. These are, there's three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Three and a half, no, three and three eighths, three and three eighths, almost three and a half, so pretty close. Anyway, so, and then the same thing down here, so uh, dimensions here, let's get another dimension here. So, full dimensional width, 
42 and a half and uh, 24 and a quarter, maybe 5 sixteenths. Um, but again, these are three inches. Uh, the holes are one and three eighths. Every hole is one and three eighths inch. Um, one and three eighths drill bit. And then that's three quarters of an inch and then one inch on the side, one inch, three quarter on the top, one half, one inch on the side. I already covered that. Um, these are all three and a half, three and a half. That's a 45. And then the actual plexiglass area. Ooh, come on. Inside, come on. Okay, inside, 35 and let's call it 5 8 35 and 5 8 And then, oh my gosh. There you go. This one is 17 and 5 8 as well. So, or so. So it won't be too tight, but it'll be good enough. So we'll be able to pre drill holes in here and then pre drill holes so I can drill the acrylic and uh, put probably one, two, three, four, five, six screws in the acrylic uh, to keep it in place. And Sasafi. I think I got all the dimensions. What did I miss? Maybe here. I didn't do this dimension. That was the same, right? Four, let's call it four inches on center. That was, and then it's three and a, same thing as the top there, three and a half. Three and a half on center. Oh yeah, that's right. So this, these are just off a bit because I wanted it, I wanted to be able to put a full hole in there. So I had to offset it out a little bit because to get it where I wanted it, I needed a bigger arrow. So uh, anyway, it looks fine. <laughs> But you can see that those aren't in alignment, but you've got the dimensions there. So that's not going to matter much on the wiring. Three inches tall, there I already said that. Three inches tall for this, four inches tall for this. One inch down. I didn't bother covering screws up because it's dark. And if you want to take it apart, I uh, can't think of anything else. I'm sure I missed something. Bye-bye.